First-time winners Matt Every, Stephen Bowditch, and Matt Jones claimed three consecutive events earlier this season, culminating with Jones' incredible victory over Matt Kuchar in a playoff at the Shell Houston Open. 30s 18 in the regulation, and then 30s in the playoff. Unbelievable. While Jones had perhaps the most dramatic breakthrough, no player has broken out quite like Jimmy Walker. There you go, Jimmy Walker. Who has the first three victories of his career this season. It's what I've always worked for, and it's nice to have the things you work hard for happen. But there's nothing easy about winning, and everyone's a little different. For the 35-year-old Walker, those differences extend to his off-course passion, astrophotography where he uses high-powered telescopes and sophisticated computer technology to capture breathtaking images from the deep expanses of space. This is M16. It's in the summer Milky Way. This right here was a star that exploded. This one's kind of a fun one. The Bubble Nebula. It's just a formation of hydrogen. Anything red in space is usually hydrogen. Astrophotography for me started right before my first child was born. It was a telescope in the backyard for Christmas, and then it was attaching a camera to it. And now it's evolved to all of my gear on top of a mountain at a place called New Mexico Skies in New Mexico, where I shoot remotely every night, pretty much. I've got a computer sitting there that runs all of the telescope components from camera to mount to all the software. And I can control any part of the telescope. I can open the roof. I can do pretty much whatever from here. I can go in and I can set targets through this software program and I'll upload that to the New Mexico site and it will take over and start running the, the, uh, the telescope all night long. For Walker, both his hobby and his PJ Tour career have been exercises in patience and dedication. I'm a guy that's been around a while, I've had a lot of success, but it's not the success that people see on TV on Sunday, but I've been right there kind of hanging around under the radar. But that wasn't always the case. Walker was the Web.com Tour Player of the Year in 2004 and has been a mainstay on the PJ Tour since 2008. Yet he ended last season winless in 187 career starts. I was like, when is this going to happen? I feel like I'm putting in the time and the effort. And what I really realized is there's only a handful of guys in history that have really made it look very easy. And it's not easy. But in golf and astrophotography, no matter how bleak things may appear, there is always light. I'm shooting in the blackest skies there are, but there are still light gradients that appear even in the darkest skies. So that's why you shoot multiple exposures and you take the best exposures and then use a program to stack them on top of each other to reduce the noise. And once you get a stack, then all of this starts to appear. It combines all the images together into one image. In October, life imitated art, and Walker completed his first golf masterpiece at the Fries.com Open. The wait is over for Jimmy Walker. Nine years on the PGA Tour, and he makes it to the winner's circle. A lot of it was a relief that, yes, I did win, and I've won, and now I've kind of gotten that monkey off my back. And it took literally a couple days for it to kind of sink in what had happened. Jimmy probably hoped he had been Jordan Spieth, but we, he wasn't, you know? He had some bumps in the road, and winning did not come easy for him, but it makes you appreciate it even more. When I won again at Sony, my family was there, we all got to experience it, and come to realize that I think every win you have is going to have something different. Walker added a third win in just his eighth start of the season at Pebble Beach. To actually pull out the W's consistently is stuff that only a few people have done regularly out on, on tour, and um, it's found some magic right now, and I'm sure I'll keep it up for a while to come. His career transforming from distant star to supernova seemingly overnight. Walker's impact has been literally set in stone at his home course in Bernie, Texas. Up at the club, they've got all these big rocks set up, and they're big stone boulders. And I come home after the fries, and 
my buddies had literally sharpied on Jimmy Walker, Fries.com, 2013 champion. So it's been an ongoing thing with the two other wins, and it's just kind of funny sitting there. That same spirit is often on display at home. Here we go. Good yeah. job. When he isn't with his wife, Erin, and sons McLean and Beckett, Walker's eye is never too far from the sky. Boom. I'm shooting with a monochrome camera where you have to shoot for a luminous, you have to shoot for a red, shoot for a green, shoot for a blue, and that takes a lot more time, but you get a lot more detail, and you get a final picture like that. Pretty cool. Walker has led the FedEx Cup standings for all but one week this season, making him a player of the year front runner. It's really encouraging for a guy like me to see him now in a position to win player of the year because some guys jump out early and start winning immediately and then some guys like Jimmy just work their way up to the top and it gives you hope that you can do it yourself. But just like his off-course passion, he knows winning the FedEx Cup will be a process. I want to definitely be ready to go play in the playoffs and make a run to you know, finish up the year at number one. It takes hard work and practice and time, and that's what astrophotography for me has been. It is like golf. I've put in my time, and it's nice to see that everything is, is starting to unfold, and you have this pretty picture that we're trying to paint this year on the golf course. And it's the same with the photography. At the end, hopefully you've got this really nice piece to show for all your hard work. Hey, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, go to youtube.com slash PGA Tour.